Hey, Fort Niner fans, I'm Thomas Mock. Welcome into Chat Sports. And today, it's an interesting video as we do here every single Tuesday on the 49ers Report where we break down some position groups and who could be good, who could be bad, and just some interesting overall conversations regarding the 49ers. I thought today I'd give you four players who could regress in 2020. Four players who were great last year who could take a step back, and the list might surprise you. Now, do I think all these players will regress? No. But there is a chance, and I will explain why. So we'll start with Dre Greenlaw, who, of course, I have said many times before in previous videos, he is only going to get better to the point that I think he's going to have a fantastic se second year and start at the second linebacker spot, the strong side linebacker spot over Quan Alexander. But there are people who think he could regress in 2020, and the reasons are very simple, and honestly, they do make sense. He's entering his second year. He was thrust into the starting role his rookie year, played well, but there are a lot of instances of a sophomore slump in the NFL where a player is just kind of going off an of instinct and plays very well, but they kind of get some film on him and they figure him out and opposing teams know how to attack him in year two. So sophomore slumps are real and there's a very real possibility that Dre Greenlaw could have that happen to him. But the real reason why people think he could regress in 2020 is because of Quan Alexander. So it's not necessarily a on the field regression. It's a limited snaps regression where he doesn't play as much because Quan Alexander is back and healthy. Now, my opinion, even though I think Greenlaw will win the number two linebacker spot, it doesn't matter who plays the second linebacker spot because, uh, again, Quan Alexander is more than capable and some would say more talented than Dre Greenlaw. The stats are a little bit askew because Alexander missed the majority of the 2019 season with a torn pectoral muscle, but he's back and better than ever in his own words and saying he's excited to go ahead and take over the starting spot. So it looks like it'll be Greenlaw's job to lose, but if Quan Alexander were to beat him out, you could see that regression from you know, starter in, in year one to being a second player, a, a third stringer, third linebacker on the weak side in year two. Alexander, again, healthy, was one of the better linebackers in the NFL during his young and early career. If he stays healthy in 2020, this could be a very big year for him overall. So I'm hoping no regression for Greenlaw, but he's first on my list currently here, which we'll start off on the 49ers report. Give me a 49er you guys think will regress in 2020. If you to pick any 49er who will take a step back, let me know in the comment section right now. All right, another player who could regress, and this one actually makes a ton of sense, is Richard Sherman. Now, you hear Richard Sherman, you go, Thomas, he just made the top 100 in pro football focus. He was one of the best cornerbacks in the league last year. Why in the heck would you say he could regress in 2020? Well, it's simple. He's getting a little old. All right, Richard Sherman is 32 years old. He's in the final year of his current deal. He says he wants to play for another three years, but at that age, can he go ahead and take on the wear and tear of a 16-plus game season if the 49ers make it to the postseason? His age is a factor any way you look at it. Now, I still think he has two good years left and then will probably regress either to a safety or he'll just go ahead and retire at the top of his career. But with that being said, 49ers have young uh, cornerbacks and Mamino Mosley and Keller Witherspoon who are more than capable of filling the role. And again, the past four years, Sherman's been pretty darn good, minus, of course, the Achilles injury. He's come back and been better, really, at least last year, you can argue, than before the Achilles injury actually happened. But with that injury, with the age being a factor, this could be a regression year for a guy like Richard Sherman. But if it were to happen, the 49ers, as I've said, are not in a hole that they cannot climb themselves out of it. They could obviously start Mosley, and they can start Akello with a spoon, and they would not be as good as they were last year in the secondary because Sherman was so good last year, but they wouldn't be a total dumpster fire where you'd worry that they couldn't even stop any sort of offense any given week. But Sherman's an interesting guy, again, Age is a factor, and you just kind of wonder, much like with Brady and much like with Breeze and the rest of the great players in the NFL, at what age does the body and time actually win? Because eventually, the body breaks down, uh, time is undefeated, and it will happen. Now, with Brady, we've seen it a little bit last year. Sherman looked great last year. If he can keep that up, fantastic. But if we have to name 49er players who could regress in 2020, I think we have to put Richard Sherman on that list just because of age alone. Now, if you disagree with me and you think Sherman will be a 49er for many years to come, that's fine. Why don't you go ahead and pick up one of his jerseys as well as Chat Sports is obviously having a massive, we found a massive sale on jerseys here at chatsports.com slash 49 jersey. They are still 25% off and a flash sale $75 for an authentic Nike NFL 49ers official jersey. Again, chatsports.com slash 49 jersey. Link is down below in the description box. I encourage you guys to pick one up right now because once the NFL season starts, they probably won't be on sale and you'll have to pay full price and no one likes paying full price for anything. Okay, the next player on this list and again, I'm hoping all these players don't regress, and they probably won't, but if we have to name another player who could regress in 2020, you got to put Debo Samuel on that list. Now, he would not have made this list 
if, of course, he did not have an injury to his foot. And now, it's been reported, will miss multiple games to start the NFL season, could miss the first four games of the NFL season. This Jones fracture injury, which we've talked about a ton here on the channel, is the real deal, right? This is not a hamstring pull or just a little, you know, a little flaky injury, something he can come back from. The Jones fracture injury is a very, very big deal. And if Debo has to have missed an extended period of time, He's going to lose some snaps there in that offense, and that gives an opportunity to other guys like Jalen Hurd and number 25 overall pick Brandon Ayuk to take some of his snaps and obviously see a regression on the football field by Debo Samuel. His expectations are so high that it almost feels like he's going to have a regression with the injuries and with the other players that are behind him. Now, 2019, it's not like he was the best receiver in the NFL, but as you've seen the stats and you guys know, he played very, very well, and many of us think he's going to have an even better 2020. But this Jones fracture is definitely a problem to the point that I did my research and the Orthopedic Journal of Sports said this in 2018 about the same injury, quote, 50% of all players with a previous Jones fracture demonstrated incomplete healing. Moreover, position-specific performance scores over the first two years of a player's career were lower across all positions for those with fractures compared with control. So this is not something that every single player comes back from. And as we saw with Trent Taylor last year, same injury, had five total surgeries and missed the entire NFL season. Now, all the doctors have said, team doctors, Debo himself, they've all said he's recovering fine, he's going to be fine, just could be out a little bit longer than expected, so I'm not worried about him, but this is something to keep an eye on to the point that if we have to name players who could be worse, aka who could see less of the football field in 2020, Debo has to make that list. Hopefully it's not the case. The Niners definitely need Debo to be as good as possible in 2020, but he does make the list here at number three. Do you guys think it be better or worse in 2020. Again, with the injuries and everything I just said, type B down below for better, type W down below for worse. And again, maybe he doesn't, he's not, he's not worse. He just plays a little bit less because Ayuk and Jalen Hurd are obviously there. They weren't there last year and could really pick up the slack there for the other wide receiver spots on the San Francisco 49ers. Now, regardless of what happens with Debo, training camp is officially upon us. All the 49ers are there, and so subscribe. That way you guys are notified and up to date during the latest NFL news because things are going to happen as training camp continues, especially in today's modern news cycle when anything can happen with COVID-19. We'll have the up-to-date training camp coverage here at the 49ers Report, so go ahead and subscribe with the big button down below. Final player who could regress on my list of four players who might is a running back. It's Tevin Coleman. We've talked about Tevin Coleman before in terms of, you know, maybe you trade him because you have other running backs who are there. The, the big problem with Tevin Coleman is snaps, right? It might not even be regression. It's the fact that they re-signed Raheem Mostert, so he goes from running back one back to running back two. And Jerick McKinnon has drawn a lot of praise this offseason, and a lot of people think, including myself, he's going to be a breakout candidate for a big, big year for the 49ers in 2020. So reduced carries could be coming for Tevin Coleman, which means he's going to have a down year versus what he did in 2019. Now, as we just know, he did deal with a bunch of injuries in 2019, so it's not like he had a baller season last year, but it could be a similar season, a similar down year this season with Mostert being running back one and McKinnon being fully healthy from his injuries. Now, who do you guys think will be more productive between those two running backs, uh, McKinnon or Coleman? Type M down below for McKinnon, type C down below for Coleman. The problem right now with Coleman is that Mostert outperformed him so much in 2019 and that he missed so many games due to injury or was on the football field but didn't play a lot that it's hard to see a scenario where they go, let's keep Coleman at two instead of trying out McKinnon at three. I mean, Mostert really has taken this role completely uh, to, his, to, to his own and whoever is the backup running back might see less carries overall based on the production of a Raheem Mostert. But you also have Jeff Wilson Jr. You have Jim Michael Hasty or undrafted free agent. There are a lot of running backs vying for a lot of uh, uh, snaps here, and they ran with with with, with uh, Coleman so little last year that it could be a big year for a regression year for a guy in his position. But obviously, if not, the hope is he plays well, and the 49ers have a three to four horse running back core that all dominate and perform like they did in 2019, being one of the top five rushing teams in the NFL. There you go, though. So this list, again, we'll just break it down for you. Dre Greenlaw, Richard Sherman, Debo Samuel, and Tevin Coleman. Now, these are four players who could. I don't want to see anyone saying Thomas is a hater down below. Or, Why is this dumb? They're not going to all stink. No, they probably, the odds of the, all four of them are re re regressing are very slim. But I was asked to, to, to kind of think about who I think could regress, and these are legitimate starters that could take a step back in 2019. And so I talk about them, and you respond in the comment section, and we go back and forth to see what we think about how San Francisco will look. Regardless, though, even if all these guys were 
this is still a really good 49er team. You know that. I know that. The 49ers could lose a lot of their starters, and they would still be a nine-win football team. They'll still be competing for the NFC West. And if all these guys play well, then it's not just an NFC West crown we have to worry about. It's probably a Super Bowl run as well, as we saw, obviously, last year in 2019. So exciting times. Training camp is here, but I wanted to give you guys four players to keep an eye on. Hopefully they, they don't, but could regress in 2020. All right, all the time we have for today here on the 49ers Report, I am Thomas Mott, your host and fearless leader as we're full steam ahead. What are we, like a month and a couple of days from the start of the NFL season? It's coming up. Arizona, week one. Cannot wait, so stay tuned for all the latest coverage here on the 49ers Report. I'm Thomas Mott signing off for the rest of your day.